Meet Ted, a hard-working citizen and a family man. Hello, Ted. Wait a minute, what's that sound? Oh no, it's the nuclear bomb alarm. Not to worry. What do you mean not to worry? It's a freaking nuke! Hey, what's going on guys? Sandy here and uh... Welcome to 60 Seconds. This is a game based around surviving the nuclear apocalypse. Apparently somebody drops a nuke on their neighborhood and uh, it's our jobs to help them survive. <laughs> That's the basics of this game. Survive a nuclear apocalypse. All right, so let's do this. Let's click new game and uh, let's do a practice round first. Uh, sca there's two parts to this game. There's a scavenge round and then there's the survival. So what you got to do is you got to scavenge your house for uh, materials and goods and then you got to survive with the materials that you get. So uh, at based on what this game says, every decision you make will, will impact your later survival. So, uh... Let's do a practice round of a scavenge. Okay, so here we go. Here's the game type. Uh, okay, so uh, this is me, and I I want I, I have a list here of things that I wanna that I wanna get before the nuke drops. Okay, uh, there's my kid. <laughs> That's Timmy. Uh, there's my wife in the bathroom. Uh, okay, so I need a gas mask, a radio, a med kit, and a weapon. Uh, okay, where is everything? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, what is this? Uh, uh, g g Boy Scouts. Oh, and here's a weapon. We got the uh, axe. <laughs> Get out of the way, you stupid chair. Okay, and then throw it in the the uh, the nuclear shelter. Okay. Uh, wait, water, water, uh, soup. G give me the soup. G give me all the soup. Okay. We got a bunch of soup and some water. Throw it in the shelter. <laughs> throw it in the shelter. Timmy, T Timmy, come here, Timmy. T wife, wife, come here. <laughs> okay. We have my wife and Timmy. Throw them in the hole. <laughs> okay. We have uh, half the time left. Uh, here's a gun. Let's grab the gun. Uh, and and a chest came. Oh, and I have a daughter. I forgot about my daughter. Ah, I don't want to forget my daughter. Okay, I also need a radio. Uh, I need a radio. Oh, a map. Uh, water. Uh, my map and more water. Ah, I'm, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. Daughter, <laughs> daughter, I'm coming for you. Daughter, come here. Come here. Oh, good lord, she's heavy. <laughs> the daughter is freaking massive. Okay, we make it. Okay, okay, get back in there. Ah. We barely made it. Okay. There we go. And that was just a practice round. Let's do the real apocalypse now. Alright, so let's do this. Let's do the nuclear apocalypse. And again, my goal for this, I want to get the gas mask, the radio, the med kit, and at least a weapon. And then a crap ton of food. Uh, okay. Let's freaking do this. All right, so here we go. Let's look for a uh, gas mask. Where's the gas mask? Uh, ga okay, there's a weapon right there. So the weapon is in here with the fat daughter. Yeah, <laughs> where's the gas mask? Oh, the gas mask is in this bedroom over here. Uh, where is the radio? Okay, a uh, med kit is in the bathroom with my wife. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. As soon as the time clicks, I'm gonna grab my wife and the med- Okay, grab my wife! Come on! Okay, and grab the med kit! There we go! Okay, now let's throw this in the hole! There we go! Oh, uh, let's grab the chest set! <laughs> Why not? We need to play games! And then grab the gas mask! Let's grab some water! And then let's grab, uh, a deck of cards! <laughs> Why not? We need to play games! Okay, throw them in there! Okay, let's go get- Let's go get the axe! Let's get some water! Some water! And then some food! Okay, wait, no, I can't. No! The axe is heavy! Get out of the way, you stupid lamp! <laughs> get out of the way! Okay, there we go. Throw that in there. Uh, let's go get... Uh, what do I need? Ah! What do I need? I need the radio. Where's the radio? Timmy! <laughs> Come with me, Timmy! Oh, the radio's up there! No! No! Table! No! Move, table! Okay, I have to get the radio. I have to get the radio. Okay, okay, okay. Go get the radio. Go get the radio. Move, table! Come on! Get the radio! Okay, got food. Got food. And then I got the radio. Okay, get out! Go! Okay, okay. Oh, oh, daughter! I am such a bad father. I left my daughter up there. Oh, no. Well, 
I guess that's less mouths to feed. Well, I at least got what's off my list. I got a gas mask, I got a med kit, I got a weapon, and I have the radio. And I, I have Timmy here. <laughs> Timmy, you look stupid. Uh, okay, so here's how we survive. We have to click on the book, and here we go. This is day one. All of, uh, almost all of us got down here in time. There is, there's nothing to do now but start cooking them cans. Our shells are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. <laughs> some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. Okay, day one looks fine. I'm not going to feed... Uh, no, I'm not gonna feed or give anybody water yet, and poor, uh, <laughs> fat daughter didn't make it down here. Oh, good gosh. Okay, day one. There are only so many things you can do in a tiny bunker. So we, so we thought, hey, why not play some games? There's not just for kids. They're not just for kids, you know. Okay, cool. Yeah, and I remember, I got the chess set and the deck of cards. Okay. Day two of survival. Oh, and look! Ted already has facial hair. What's day two look like? All right, day two. Uh, we played I Spy, and it was pretty fun for the first three minutes. After that, everyone got bored of the letter W. Oh, God. Timmy is good. Well, at least uh, he was five minutes ago. T uh, today's been fine for Dolores thus far. No problems are troubling Ted. Okay. So everybody's good on food and water for now. Everybody's good. Uh, what's this? It looks like the area is still irritated going to the or going to the wasteland right now is unsafe unless you don't find mind getting sick. Okay. So we can actually send somebody upstairs to look for supplies. Should we start preparing an expedition for tomorrow? Yes. Okay. So we're going to start preparing somebody to go up, uh, to go up to the nuclear wasteland to look for materials. Okay, and this right here is asking us to turn on the radio. Okay, this is why I wanted to get the radio. So we could turn on the radio and hopefully hear if there's other survivors. Okay, let's click next. Day three. We've survived three days so far. Yeah, okay, day three. It says, how fortunate we, how fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. I... That's for survivor listening. <laughs> Not for music, you idiots. <laughs> okay, we can't leave Timmy without water for long. If there's one thing we need, it's water for Dolores. Okay, so everybody needs water. Uh, let's give Ted water. Let's give Dolores water and, and little Timmy. <laughs> there you go, Timmy. Take your water. Uh, okay, what is this? So this is where we pick for somebody to go upstairs and scavenge for more goods. Yeah, sorry, Timmy. <laughs> You're gonna have to go. Gotta send the kid. I know my wife's gonna be pissed, but we gotta send Timmy. <laughs> okay, there we go. T look at that. Okay, day four. Oh, and Timmy's gone. Oh, and look, she is so mad. Okay, what's on the agenda for day four? Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Oh, yeah, and look at that. If you look on the side of the wall, he actually took the gas mask with him. That's why I needed that. Uh, today's been fine for Dolores. Ted is not complaining. Okay, so those two are fine. All right, so there we go. Day four down. We are now on day five. Freaking Timmy is not back yet. It's been a whole day. Okay, what's going on here? Uh, we can make it work even in Toronto. Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? What? I don't know. <laughs> no food for you crazies yet. What is this? Uh, mutated rodents are attacking our supplies. Uh, we're not sure if they're rats, feral bunnies, or just mutated hamsters. Oh my god. All of these options are pretty grim. Yeah, that's, this is why I brought a weapon down. So I can fight things off that are trying to get my food. Alright, so let's try to take on these uh, eh, feral bunnies with an axe. So here we go, day six. And Timmy is still not back. Oh, did he die? Dolores, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to kill your other uh, it, it, kid. All right, so here we go. Day seven and Timmy is still not back. I'm sorry to say it, Dolores. <laughs> I think your son might be dead. <laughs> okay, what's in store for day seven? Okay, so Dolores is fine and Ted is fine. So I'm not going to give him any food or water. Uh, what is this? The trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans. Oh, good lord. And that unmentionable bucket is over- Oh, gosh. 
<laughs> Their poop can is overflowing. Both of them are attacking strangely growing, suspicious, big insect wildlife. Roaches? <laughs> so we have roaches. Uh, I can't- Dang it, I didn't grab anything to deal with them. Oh, no. So my poop can is gonna start overflowing. Okay, so we're on to- Oh, and Timmy's back! Welcome back, Timmy! Oh, he's hungry, sick, and he's tired! Oh, I'm sorry, Timmy! Okay, so day eight. What this thing says is, Timmy came back, and check this out. He came back with four soup cans. Timmy also came back with a gun. And he also came back with a flashlight and some bug spray. For the roaches. Freaking Timmy, you boss! He's hungry, he's sick, and he's tired. Let's give Ted some food. Let's give Timmy some food and water. And let's heal Timmy. That's why I got the med kit, if you remember. Timmy, he's a freaking boss. Oh, and look at this. We can also set up for our next expedition up above. Okay, let's set that up. All right, so here we go. Day nine. Let's give both of them water. And then... Okay, can we... S okay, here we go. We can send Mom D Dolores outside in place of Timmy. Okay, there we go. Is she going to take the gas mask with her? Day 10. There we go. And she did take the gas mask with her. Hopefully she brings back something good. Okay, so everybody's doing fine. I don't need to feed them or anything. Uh, okay. Oh, what is this? Okay, so this says that some other survivors out in the world came knocking on our door and they were asking for water or food. I mean, we have a crap ton of- we don't have much water. I can't give them water. Let's give them food. We have a crap ton of food, so we'll give the other survivors food. We, we gotta be nice to people, right? Day 11, what is this? Uh, anything new? Dolores isn't back. What's new? Oh, and there we go. So because we gave that family soup, they returned the favor and gave us a map. Look at this. Oh, that is sick. I don't know what we use it for, but <laughs> we'll, we'll hang on to it. Day 13 and Dolores is still not back. <laughs> Hopefully she's not dead. Oh, I heard a noise. Oh, there she is. She came back. What did she come back with, though? You have got to be kidding me. This is all Dolores came back with. Two cans of soup and one water bottle. How does your son do better than you? He's a little boy. Oh, and here we go. We can set up for another uh, expedition. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is telling me to use the bug spray on the roaches. <laughs> Look down there at the bottom left. You see that roach? <laughs> okay. Who are we going to send on the expedition? Actually, you know what? No, we're going to send Dolores. <laughs> Ted's got to hold the place down. Dolores, if you don't come back with something better, I I'll, I'll divorce you. Okay, so day 17, it says, uh, we were able to get a weak signal and tap into, uh, the government's emergency announcement service. It says the fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. <laughs> good, hopefully Dolores actually brings something good home this time. Good, good lord. Okay, let's feed both Timmy and Ted. Alright, so day 18, and, uh, Dolores still isn't back. <laughs> oh gosh, and it says Timmy needs water. Okay, Timmy... Take your water. There you go. And what is this? We were able to receive another message from the government. The military is preparing for a rescue mission. They want all survivors to head to a specific location in the area. Oh, click the... Oh, that, that is awesome. So the map that we got for trading that soup, it's going to tell us where to go. Hopefully we can be rescued. Day 19. Oh, Dolores is back. Oh, and she's sick. Oh, no, and I don't have a med kit for her. Okay, so Dolores brought home one can of soup, uh, two water bottles, and uh, a Boy Scout handbook. <laughs> Whatever the freak that's used for. Uh, okay, and we, uh, we, yeah, we got to give her food and water. Uh, eh, I can't heal her, though. I don't have a med kit. <laughs> Dolores is sick, and I can't do anything about it. Oh, and I can set up another expedition. 
Oh, uh, okay. I feel so bad for Dolores. I, I can't make her not sick. All right, so day 20. Let's... <laughs> Timmy, you gotta go, homie. Ted's gotta stay home with his wife. <laughs> okay, there we go. Timmy's going on the expedition. Day 25, and <laughs> Timmy is still not home. Is he dead? Oh, and no, Ted is now sick. Dolores got Ted sick. Oh, this is not going well. Day 27, and Timmy finally came back. Good. What did he bring back? He brought two cans of food, uh, two water bottles. Okay, Timmy, <laughs> that's more than what your mom brought back. Okay, let's uh, feed him. And I think that's it. Wait, so this says ring ring. There we are thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again when suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. Uh, okay, so we gotta send somebody to answer it. Uh, Ted, <laughs> listen, homie, you gotta do something. <laughs> All right, Ted's going to answer the phone. What a useless freaking phone call. <laughs> it was from other survivors and they told me nothing. Uh, at least Ted got back safe. Day 29 and we can send another person on an expedition. Uh, considering Ted just answered the phone. <laughs> Dolores? Uh, actually, no, we gotta send Ted. We, we need better supplies. Dolores brings nothing good back ever. Alright, so day 31. Ted is still not back. And it's asking us if we want to tinker with the radio to increase its range. So either Tim, Timmy, or Dolores is gonna take the radio apart and try to make it... Ah, should we do it? Freaking YOLO! <laughs> We're gonna do it, Timmy! Dolores, don't break the radio! Go freaking figure. They broke the radio. Alright, day 32. It says here, someone is very serious about banging on the hatch. We are scared to open it, but it might be good news. Uh, should we open it or, or not? Again, YOLO. Alright, day 33, we just- Oh! <laughs> day 33! Dolores is dead! How did she die? Dolores' sickness progressed quickly. Coughing, fever, chest pain, she didn't recover. Oh no, so Dolores died to her sickness. Uh, and it looks like the people that were knocking on the door gave us two soup cans. Oh, Timmy! He just saw his mom die due to sickness. Oh no! It said the end. Did we lose? Ted has been outside for far too long and still has not returned. We fear he isn't coming back. Fond memories are one thing, but we need to be ready for harsh reality that waits us. Of all places we could have perished, this is probably the best one. <laughs> or maybe not. We spent 34 days in our shelter. So we perished on day 34. Well, at least Timmy's still alive. T <laughs> Timmy? I believe in you, homie. But uh, anyways, dudes, I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. If you guys want me to play this again and uh, maybe try to beat it this time, <laughs> it's up to you. Either hit that like button down below or uh, tell me not to be an idiot next time. Meet Ted, a hardworking citizen and a family man. Hello, Ted. Wait a minute, what's that sound? Oh no, it's the nuclear bomb alarm. Not to worry. What do you mean not to worry? It's a freaking nuke! Hey, what's going on guys? Sandy here and uh... Welcome to 60 Seconds. This is a game based around surviving the nuclear apocalypse apparently somebody drops a nuke on their neighborhood and uh it's our jobs to help them survive so <laughs> that's the basics of this game survive a nuclear apocalypse
Alright, so let's do this. Let's click new game, and uh, let's do a practice round first. Uh, there's two parts to this game. There's a scavenge round, and then there's the survival. So what you gotta do is you gotta scavenge your house for uh, materials and goods, and then you gotta survive with the materials that you get. So uh, at ev based on what this game says, every decision you make will, will impact your later survival. So, uh... Let's do a practice round of a scavenge. Okay, so here we go. Here's the game type. Uh, okay, so uh, this is me, and I I want I, I have a list here of things that I wanna that I wanna get before the.